Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we are talking about LSU linebacker uh, Devin White in terms of his analytics profile. Uh, I've already done a video detailing his production data, but this video is going to look at his production and his athleticism data and essentially give a final grade to Devin White in terms of what his overall potential is at the next level. Uh, if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. And with all that stuff out of the way, let's get to his production uh, data. So first off, as you already know, if you've seen the production video, uh, he had a 94.76 solo tackle production score, uh, pretty much hits above the all-pro threshold, pro bowl threshold, and starter threshold. And when you look at the averages of the position, he's essentially between the all-pro average and the pro bowl average for his production. So again, Devin White checks all the boxes in terms of his production data and when you look at his athleticism data he passes everything as well 92.85 in terms of explosiveness uh, 99 percentile in terms of his speed and 94 percentile in terms of his flexibility for his size all those areas hit above the all pro threshold the pro bowl threshold the starter threshold uh, and even when you look at the averages the position well above the averages in terms of his explosiveness his speed and his flexibility for his size so there are really not a lot of downsides uh, down uh, sort of areas when it comes to Devin White. Uh, also, when you want to look at a production comp, Bobby Wagner is probably a very, very similar production comp for a guy like Devin White. It doesn't mean that Devin White is Bobby Wagner. It just means that he had a similar production score. Uh, so this is more of a data comparison than an actual comparison of the players, if that makes any sense. But data-wise, Bobby Wagner is a very similar production comp to Devin White. And when it comes to athleticism comp, I was surprised to see this, guys, but it was Brian Urlacher. Um, now, of course, Devin White is not as big as Brian Urlacher, but from an athleticism standpoint, from a size standpoint, um, if you will, Devin White is essentially like a smaller version of Brian Urlacher, but just as athletic, almost as athletic as him in many ways. So um, that's the sort of athleticism comp when it comes to Devin White. And I think when you put all these things together, so you put his production data up, you put his athleticism data up, all this stuff suggests that Devin White has won a very, very high chance of becoming at least, at the very least, a very good NFL line, uh, NFL uh, linebacker. Uh, but two, that the chances of him becoming a high quality linebacker, so like a uh, generational linebacker, are also very high as well, uh, if that makes any sense. So again, great profile. Uh, I think when you look at this class, you look at guys like Devin White and look at Devin Bush as the two top linebackers in this class from a data standpoint, and some people would even say a film standpoint, and I think both these guys, you really can't go wrong with either one of these guys. Both of them have great data profiles, and uh, of course, you know, I know a lot of people on film will prefer one over the other, and again, that's up to the film people. If you're someone who likes Devin Bush more on film, put Devin Bush over Devin White. If you're someone who likes Devin White more than Devin Bush, put Devin White over Devin Bush. So it's it's really up to you in terms of what your personal preference is. But both these guys have great profiles, great indicators for success, and are both worthy of first-round consideration. And with all that stuff out of the way, of course, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. And of course, check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description. If you love the content that I put out, if you love the videos, that I put out. If you religiously watch the videos that I put out, become a Patreon subscriber today. Uh, the big thing I'm doing this year is if you are a Patreon subscriber, you will get the 2019 NFL Draft Analytics Guide for free uh, for at least the months of February, March, and April. And on top of that, you'll be getting bonus content. And as I tell on most of my videos as well, uh, if you are a Patreon subscriber and you have a player request or you want somebody, if you want a video on someone, on this channel, uh, those Patreon subscribers get priority over every other subscriber. Uh, and that's just because, again, those guys are contributing a lot more. Uh, those guys, you know, again, those are awesome. If you will, those are the top, top fans. So if you want to be a top fan, if you want to be someone who puts in a player request and gets that request done as soon as possible, become a Patreon subscriber today. And with all this stuff out of the way, thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.